Hey guys, Exadark1 here for another Pokemon uh, X play. Um, I know what you're thinking, is it going to be another Nuzlocke? Have I misspelled Nuzlocke? Because this is obviously going to be titled Nuzlocke. Because this isn't a Nuzlocke challenge. For those of you, let me just tell you a little backstory. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, you fucking should. Um, I made it, I started, I went on a little rant the other day when... I watched uh, Pokemon X and Y when Ash released his Gudra, his most powerful Pokemon at the time, and he just fucking releases it. Like, he releases most of his Pokemon. I, don't, I know he doesn't release every single Pokemon he's ever owned, but he always he always has a good Pokemon, it does fucking ace, and then eventually he releases it. I get why, but as a tr from a trainer's standpoint, if you did that in a game, you'd be dumb, you know. from If you're playing the game, you don't release your strongest Pokemon, you keep them. So, I was going on a bit of a rant about it. And then I made, I did a tweet saying, talking about the new Ashlock challenge, where if, after a certain time limit, you have to release your strongest Pokemon. And it got a lot of, it got a lot of retweets and likes that that tweet. Very surprised by by how much people enjoyed that particular tweet. And because of that, it got me thinking. Rather than just do what everyone else is doing, because I, I I did get the odd comment through the Nuzlocke video last time and go, oh you making everyone doing Nuzlocke, you're doing Nuzlocke now like everyone. Well, fuck off. Well, I figured, and so rather than do what everyone else it was doing, I would actually make my own rules and do this, the Ashlock Challenge. Um, on, in some aspects, it's not going to be as hard as on Nuzlocke. In some areas, I suppose it will be. Um, but I have written up a, a big list of rules, actually. We have about ten rules, I think. Uh, and I thought I would play Pokemon Soul Silver because it's one of my, it's probably my, my, fa my, my second favourite next to Fire Red. Um, but it also has the feature of having your Pokemon follow you, which I thought was good for this kind of game, the Ashlock Challenge, because obviously, you know, you can have... One of the rules involves your, your main Pokemon, with Ash as Pikachu, with being your main Pokemon. And I just felt, I thought, Pokemon Yellow might have been a bit too obvious a choice for it, so I wanted to do it with Soul Silver. Uh, so I'm going to quickly, before I get on with the game, I'm going to quickly run you through these rules, so just pay attention. Okay, so rule one, okay? You cannot evolve or release your starter Pokemon. So you cannot. So whatever Pokemon you pick at the beginning, your your first Pokemon becomes your main Pokemon, and you cannot release it or you cannot evolve it under any circumstances. Because Ash has still got Pikachu to this day, and it's fucking whatever, right? Uh, but bear with me because that, that rule can change, as you will see in a moment. Um, <clears throat> you can only have one of each Pokemon. So you catch one Pokemon. So you catch, say, a Pidgey or whatever. And you get it all to whatever. If it releases, that's it. You can't have a Pidgey anymore. And you can't catch a Pidgeot or, or a Pidgeot later on. You cannot have that Pidgey or any of its evolutions. So if you want to caught a Pidgey and you have it, that's your Pidgey. You have to have that Pidgey. And if you lose it, you can't catch another one. Because that's never, with the exception of one Pokemon, which again, we'll get to. Because Ash has never had more than one type of Pokemon with one exception. Uh, rule three, you must lose your first gym battle. Because he always does. Like, every time I've seen him take that first, on that first gym, he's always lost. I mean, I might be wrong. I'm not saying that is right. But just that, just for shits and giggles, you have to lose regardless. You have to lose your first gym battle. You just got to just got to do it. Uh, rule number four. You have a set timer. So, I'm going to mention the rule that actually started this whole thing. Which is right here. No, right here is our set timer. I've set it for four hours. The reason being, I didn't want it to be... Because obviously, I want it to be a long amount of time. Because A, it gives me a chance to actually train the Pokemon. And actually connect and have the Pokemon and, and make them strong. And, you know, Ash does have his Pokemon for a good few episodes. And if you go off... How long did he have Gujra for? Seven episodes, you said. Give or take. So if you take it, if you take in that each episode is about 20 odd minutes long. And you had it for seven episodes. That's about three and a half, four hours, whatever. So I think four hours of playtime is, is, is a good time to have it. If you ever do an Ashlock challenge, you're more than welcome to change that timer. But I'm sticking with four hours because I think that's a good amount of time. So, uh, once that timer hits zero, no matter what happens, once that timer hits zero, I have to release my strongest Pokemon. If, however, the strongest Pokemon is my starter Pokemon, then I just pick my second strongest Pokemon. Um, so, that's just the rule. So... If I'm if I'm halfway in a route and it go the time runs out the Pokemon's gone I can't I can't I can't 
I can't even just use it until I get to a Pokemon Center. I am not allowed to use it. Y you know, that is it. Even in battle, if all my other Pokemon have fainted, I've just got to get him out for the sole purpose of having him faint. Because I can't use him to battle. So that's that's the extremist. That's probably one of the more extremer rules. So you could, it's not a game to, you can lose your Pokemon in battle. You could lose your Pokemon at, 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 like that if you don't plan it right. So you could lose your one of your best Pokemon just straight away and not even think about it. Um, the ne rule number five: uh, your you cannot use items during battle because I've never known Ash to use any battle items during. You know, you can't use potions and shit like that during a Pokemon battle. You just can't. So that's going to be a hard. You can use them outside of battle. So you can stock up on items and then use them outside of battle. So I'm pretty sure he has done it then. But you can't use it during battle. Simple as that. Number seven, of course, Pokemon don't die in this version. Don't die in this version. When they faint, they faint. When you lose, you go back to Pokemon. You can use the Pokemon Center to revive them. When they faint, they do faint. And you do go to the Pokemon Center. So you don't... That's not how you lose your Pokemon. You lose your Pokemon... <clears throat> Sorry, you lose your Pokemon through this bat, through you know the timer essentially, and that's the main way you lose your Pokemon. Oh, I think I did say you can have one of each Pokemon um, at any you know at any one time, so you can catch as many as you like. I mean, Ash doesn't, but you know. Uh, however, here comes rule seven: if you come across a Pikachu, so you're playing a game where you can catch Pikachu wildly, which is most of them, I'm pretty sure most of them. If you if you come across a Pikachu, you have to catch it. And it, that once you catch it, it becomes your main Pokemon. It becomes your main Pokemon. Your and it, it falls under the rulings of Rule One. It becomes your starter Pokemon. So then you do kind of become an Ash. So you can't. You get your Pikachu. That means if your starter Pokemon that you had, that's still in its base form at this point, um, you cannot. Um, you cannot fucking. That Pokemon is then up for grabs. You can evolve it. Or you can, or you may have to release it, but that is just a fact. That's the way it is. Um, okay, rule uh, uh, no, seven, nine, I think. Rule eight. Rule eight. Yes. Rule eight. Until you have at least six badges, at least six badges, you cannot have more than one evolved Pokemon in your squad at any one time. So until you get six badges, you can only have at least one evolved Pokemon. Once you get six badges, you can evolve. You can have as many evolved Pokemon in your squad as you like. But until then, you you have to pick one Pokemon to evolve in your squad, and that is it. That is your evolved Pokemon, and the others cannot evolve unless that one gets released, and then you can evolve another one until you get six badges. So there's that. Rule number nine: If you happen to be playing Ashlock Challenge and you want to do it in Kanto, in Red, Blue, uh, Green, fucking Yellow, whatever. Um, if you're in Kanto and you go to the Safari Zone, you have to catch 30 Tauros. You have to do it. And you can never use them. I think Ash uses one in, in the tournament. So maybe you, you're allowed to use a Tauros in the Elite Four, maybe. But that is it. But you cannot use all of them. You can only use the one Tauros. It's the only Pokemon that is exempt to the one Pokemon each. So you have to go to Survivor Zone, you have to catch 30 Tauros, and that is it. You have to have that 30 Tauros in your PC box forever and never use them. You have to have a herd of Tauros. Um, rule number 10. You cannot use TMs. You cannot use technical machines. You can use hate gems. Of course you can use hidden machines because you need those to progress through the game. But as far as technical machines go, you cannot buy or you cannot use them even if you're given them. You can't use them. You can't. The Pokemon have got to use their natural move set. And it's tough titties. Final rule is you cannot... Okay? You cannot open a battle with a type advantage. Because Ash never does. Ash rarely does. And even when he does, they make a big deal of going, Oh, Ash played a smart move there. So he rarely does. So... If you know someone's going to use a fucking Geodude, you can't then throw out a Squirtle or a fucking Bulbasaur. You've got to throw out Charmander. You know what I mean? You've got to throw out the first Pokemon you use it against that. Obviously, in the opening turn, you can't help that. That's different. But to be honest, your first card, your first Pokemon's going to be P going to be either Pikachu or one of your starter. But if you, if you know what the next Pokemon is and you have a type that is strong against it, you're not allowed to open that battle with that type advantage. You've either got to keep your Pokemon out 
that you're currently using or use a completely different Pokemon because you've got a strategy because you're so predictable. Uh, and that's it. That is all the rules. That is the Ash. That is all the official Ashlock rules. So we've got Soul Silver. There's Lugia looking fucking badass. I've got a nice, sexy layout now. It looks much better, as you can probably tell, way better. Uh, no info needed. Uh, so I, you know, I look, I look all legit now. So got my little fucking bottom screen in this corner here got my time a bit further on got this big one here so we're just gonna fucking play this game and we're gonna do this and we're gonna fucking make tits of ourselves but i might last longer than i did in the little like challenge because your pokemon don't die but it's gonna there's gonna i'm probably gonna complete the game it's just gonna take fucking ages because obviously i'm gonna be releasing my strongest pokemon every four hours which reminds me i'm gonna start the time when i actually start the game Hmm, interesting. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I was just reading this book here. Ah, wonderful. It's Crowler again. Ah, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is wildly inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We'll get one out. Let me see. A Marrow for all intents and purposes. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. <laughs> Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bondage. Not me though. Uh, with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Why don't you please tell me? I'm a boy. I'm this boy. I'm not wearing pants. You're a boy then? Yes, I'm a boy. I am a fucking boy. Tell me your name. What should I call him? What should I call myself? You don't know. Great. Um, what should I call myself? Hmm. What should... No, don't call me prick. Proper name. No, a proper name. Proper name. No, proper name. I'm gonna call myself Kagi. Cause I want to. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm Alessandro Cav Kagnaz, whatever the heck you wanna call me. You guys should watch Kagi. He's he's awesome. I'm gonna call him Kagi. He's gonna laugh. <laughs> the Adventures of Kagi. Oh, I should call him Kagi VA. Never mind. So your name's Kagi. <laughs> no, no, it's not Kagi. Yeah, I'm a boy called Kagi VA. I'm gonna I'm gonna. This is gonna be the Adventures of Kagi VA. That's gonna be the ep that's the name of episode one. That's the name for episode one. I am a boy. Yes. Please tell me your name. All right. Just get to the point. Kagi. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Alessandro Sub, Kagmaster, whatever the heck you wanna call me. Kagi. V. A. There we go. And that. Go to his channel at Kagi Films. He hasn't put up this. He doesn't even know. So your name is Kagi VA. Yes. I'm gonna make myself a rival. Can I? Is that? Oh, I don't think I have a rival. Then. Do you have a rival in this one? Do you name him yourself though? Yeah, sweet. I'm gonna be the rival. Fuck you, Kagi. I'm gonna fucking come at you like a mighty hurricane. Oh, I'm shrinking. No, I don't. Oh, I can't name my rival. That sucks. He's no good. Oh, okay. Da, da, da. And I have, I think that's the speed up. There we go. Da, 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 da. Uh, I forget what the buttons are here. There we go. Kagi booted up the PC to make another Let's Play video. <laughs> and do impressions and fucking whatever. Lyra. What's Lyra sending me? Lyra, would you like to do... What would you like to do with Lyra's mail? I have to wipe my fucking arse with it. Let's see what she's got to say. Adventure. Excited. I love Pokemon. Thank you, Lyra, for that fucking pointless message. What the fuck are you going to tell me that for, Lyra? That that has not helped in, in any way. So I don't... Okay, so I don't... Oh, that's gay. Can't just fucking... Let's just go down the stairs. Hey, Kagi, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide-and-seek with her Marrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. 
By the way, did you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. <laughs> Here you go, Kagi. It's it's dangerous to go out alone. Take this bag. You're gonna uh yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mom. I'm gonna speed that up. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Off we go, Kagi. Off on an adventure with Kagi. Oh, it's a Meryl. Oh, fuck off, Meryl. What do you want? Meryl. Oh, I can't be the rival because it's the girl. Oh, right. Because it's the girl right there. She is. We'll up. Do I name that girl as well then? No. Oh. Oh, that's my uncle. Who the fuck's this perv? What the fuck are you doing, perv? So this is the famous Elven Pokemon Lab. <gasps> what are you staring at? <laughs> the fuck? What's this creepy guy doing? Proper perving. Uh, Professor Elm? Um, you got some weirdo spying on you. Hi, KVA. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carrying Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people were used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? But the device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. How do I sound like this? Um, I need to decide. I'm going to use the same rules to decide my starter Pokemon. Oh, stop talking. Anyway, I just got an email from you saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. That, wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? Kagi, can we? You can choose one of your Pokemon over there. Okay, great. Um, uh, where is my uh, options? Oh, that's not it. I will turn speed to fastest. I'm sick of that. Confirm. So that's a bit quicker. Kagi. So what's my code? Number ID is 26727. And it was based on... It's water, isn't it? Right, water. So we're picking the water one. Wait, which is the water one? Don't tell me. I'm going to find out. Totodile! Yay! Totodile. I like Totodile. Totodile! Yeah, Totodile, Chikorita, or Cyndaquil. I have to Totodile. I kind of want to catch a Pikachu now, so Totodile stays Totodile forever. Do you want Totodile? Yes, I do want Totodile. Uh, can you receive Totodile from Professor Elm? <gasps> uh, yes, I will nickname Totodile. Fucking hiccup. What should we call Totodile? What should we call Totodile? No. Your names are awful. I don't know why I'm... No, your names are awful. <laughs> I named Stabby Hands. Yeah, and Stabby Hands died first. Awful. Yeah, well. I think it's because he had a bad name. <laughs> My name's Tutu. Pour one out for Stabby Hands. Pour one out. Oh, sugar! I'm not starting right. Um, actually, no, I've not officially started. I'm going to properly... As soon as I start the adventure, then I'll start the timer. <laughs> I gotta get over through through this tutorial shit first. Right, uh, let's call him Big Jaws. Is that a name? You're a crap name. A no. Big Jaws. I'm calling him Big Jaws. You suck. And then I can call it, if I get another crocodile base one, I can call it Bigger Jaws. <laughs> Big Jaws! Is Big Jaws a nickname you want to give? Yes, it is. Yeah, Big Jaws. Yeah, I heal it with a machine. I know. Get the fuck off. Go fuck yourself. Shut up. You fucking freeze. Okay, let's go. Okay, who's this guy? Kagi, I want you to have these to help you on your task. Obtain the potions. Thanks, Snape. The 
potions master. Right. Can I go now? Is that alright? Guys, seriously, can I get fucking... Can I get going? By the way, by the way, there's a guy out there. Don't know what he's up to, but I'd get on it. Right, let's see you later. You're all pricks. Okay, let's go Big Jaws. Let's go make the world a better place. I'm going to start this timer now. Timer on. Here we go. Da, da, da. I got a battle. Do I have to battle her? No, that's fine. Then. Let's go. Where are we going? I totally didn't even read any of that. Gotta go see my mum. Let's go see mom. Mom! That's not mom. Ah, uh, big jaws. Da, 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 da. Wait, what? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. <gasps> that fact was versus the other by Professor Elm. <sighs> You fucking fucks. So, oh yeah, this is because this is where Pichu made his fucking debut. Isn't it? The most pointless piece of shit Pokemon. Oh. Fuck off, Pichu sucks ass. Pichu, what it was is they're like, look, we need an. They always try and make a new Pikachu in every generation, and it just never fails. It never works. Dene? Is that what Pichu sounds like? The Dene, yeah. That flying squirrel one. Again, exactly the same principle. Oh, I've got Poke Gear! Poke Gear! Yeah. <laughs> the babysitter is making them. Uh, yeah, I know how to use it. Fuck off, Mum. Yeah, you're old. Don't tell me how to use tech. You don't know how to use tech, you old fucking gimmer. Come on, let me go, you withered old bint. Let me get going. Fuck, Mum. Uh, uh. Right, we're going to Riven and play where? P wait a second! What? What do you want? I almost completely forgot about this! Here, I'll give you my number! Kagi VA re re registered Professor Elm in the poker gear. Yeah, Kagi, your, fir your, first, your first contact, your first friend is, is a boring professor. <laughs> All right, Professor, you fucking pedophile. Let's go. Route twenty nine. I don't have Pokemon yet, do I? No, I don't. Da -da -da -da. Oh, battle straight away, straight in. What are we fighting? Hoot hoot. Yes. All right, Big Jaws. Kick its ass, Big Jaws. Give it a bit of scratch. Give it a bit of scratch. Yeah, I'm gonna utilize. I'm gonna be utilizing the speed button again. I know you guys don't really like that, but I don't care. Gonna rock and walk through them. We're gonna lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Who's this guy? Hey, kid. Hey, hey this is probably one of those. We in the red bow. Get up, dog rats. What's up, kid? What you tell me what to do? Wait, where do I go? Just, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. Where do I go? Am I going the wrong way already? I fucking have as well. Oh no, I haven't. I go up. I go up this way. <gasps> Battle! Come on, Big Jaws. Big Jaws! Hit him with a scratch! <laughs> Come on, I, can't, I used to be able to do Total Down. Can't do Total Down. <laughs> yeah. You can, yeah. Are you my toad now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting on the on, we're on the piss end of codes was lot. On the right piss end of it. Da 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 Pokeball. What's this? Kagi found a potion! Good job, Kagi! Let's go! Keep going. Am I even going the right way? I don't think I am, you know. Oh, I might be. Who knows? What fighting now? A hoot hoot! I like hoot hoot. I like knockdown. I really do. I like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of knockdown. Knockdown is good. You are alright in my book, knockdown. You are good. 
That'll do, Noctowl, that'll do.